guys, Steve here, aka Shadowick. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial showing you how to convert an Awakening version 1 world into Awakening version 2. Now the reason you need to do this is Awakening 2 has made quite a bit of changes to world gen, including removing some of Raker's mods um, which require you to run a certain jar file to continue using your world. So if you're coming straight into Awakening 2 and you don't already have an existing world, you can just start it up, create a new world and play on that, no problems. But if you've got an existing Awakening 1 world, it doesn't matter what version, this is 1.18.3, which is the latest before 2, but you can convert straight from an older version. Um, so yeah, if you're coming from an old world and you want to keep that world, uh, there's just a couple of simple things you need to do to keep that world. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download uh, a jar file from Riker's Minecraft website. Um, I'll put a link to this file directly in the description below so you can get to it easily. Um, but if you're coming to Raker's Minecraft and getting it from there, it's on the homepage and it's just this button here where it says um, if you remove Dragon API from your world without first installing an FML patch here, your modded blocks and IDs will become strambled and the world will be unusable. And that's the whole reason why we need to do this. Um, so if you click on that and you save that file to somewhere on your computer where you can find it, I'm going to stick mine on my desktop because it's a nice easy place to find it will already say i've got it because i have i'll just replace it um and then once you've got that downloaded i'll show you what we need to do next so the next thing you're going to want to do is to drop that jar file you've just downloaded into your awakening installation so if you go into your awakening install and this is before you do the update to two so you need to make sure you're on the older version first so on the if you've already updated then just roll back and it will work fine so make sure you're on uh, a version one of Awakening, ideally the last one, um, 1.18.3. Go into your profile and then up in this top corner here where the three dots are, you just need to click on that and go to open folder. Now that'll take you straight to that profiles install folder. Uh, and in there, the important one you want is the mods folder. So if you go into your mods folder and that'll show you all your jars of all the mods you've got installed. Um, so all you need to do then is simply drop that jar file that you've got. Uh, mine's on my desktop because that's where I saved it to, it's here somewhere. Drop that into that folder and away you go so once you've done that so simply drop that dangling vanilla fixer into there and then run that profile at least once and load the world so i'm just going to do that now i'm going to uh, click play and i'm going to load that world up so if you do the same uh, and i will join you when i'm there okay so here we are in a uh, awakening version one world i'm just in creative uh, it's just a new world i've created to show you um so as you can see there we've got a I think it's a steam vent there from geostrata yep which is one of the things that'll get removed in the version 2 update so we'll see that disappears when we update uh, so it's a good place to stand to show you where we are i've just built this pillar out of dirt as well so you can see this is the world i'm going to actually copy across so once you've run your world once with that jar file in the directory at this point uh, same with the server once you've run the server with the jar file in the directory uh you can just quit out now so we'll quit out of this world uh, and we'll be back on the desktop in a second Okay, so once you've run your Awakening version 1 world successfully with that jar in the, the mods file, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is run the update to Awakening 2. So click the versions tab, choose the latest version. It's not version 2 yet because I haven't actually released it, but for you it will be. Click continue and let it run through its update. Okay, so once you've run your Awakening version 1 world successfully with that jar in the mods folder, the next thing you're going to want to do is do the update to Awakening version 2. Um, I can't actually do that because it's not live yet. I'm doing this video before I upload to Curse, so people have got a video to look at to know what to do. Um, but basically, you want to click the versions button, make sure the latest version is selected there, which will be Awakening 2. Point whatever. Click continue and let it follow through. Okay, so I jumped to my dev version 2, but you won't need to do that. Uh, but once yours has finished updating, go back into it, click the dots, check the open folder, and again, you're going to want to make sure. Uh, that that dangling vanilla fixer jar file is in the mods directory because curse may or may not have deleted it uh, i know it's not there in mine so i'm just going to drop it in and then again you want to just run that profile uh, and load up your world okay so as you can see uh, i'm running the latest awakening at the moment this is in dev obviously but this is 2.18.4 which is probably the same version that it'll be when it goes live um so now i want to jump into that same world uh that i've just run that mod in uh, same for servers, if you're running a server, leave the mod in the directory, do the server update the way you usually would, and then just run that world. So let's run that world, and I will see you there in a second. Okay, so one important thing to note, you'll probably get this warning coming up, uh, telling you about all the things that are missing. You just need to click yes. If you're on a server, you'll probably get a similar thing, where in the log it'll tell you that some blocks are missing, and you'll have to uh, run a command to continue. I think it's something like... Um, 
or slash fml confirm or something like that but it'll actually tell you in the log what you actually have to do to say confirm but yeah it's absolutely safe don't worry about it click yes and it'll just remove those blocks from your world and just let it continue loading after that okay guys so as you can see we're loaded up uh this is our awakening version one world as you can see we've still got our random dried dirt there uh you'll notice that the um steam vent is gone because raker's mods aren't in the pack anymore um and yeah that's it basically we can carry on playing a world in this version uh you can see it's the new version because you get some cool new water effects blur when you go underwater uh there's a ton more world gen and stuff like that for you to enjoy and explore um, but yeah so essentially it's a simple three-step process uh, download the dangling vanilla fixer, stick it in your mods directory, run uh, Awakening on your old world once before the update, do the update, run the world with the dangling vanilla fixer mod in the directory on the new version, and that's it, you're done. And then, as I say, if you want to, you can delete that mod out of your mods directory uh, after that because you don't need it anymore. It just makes sure that all the IDs and everything stay the same so you can continue using the world. Um, and enjoy all the new things that come with that so uh that said guys i will see you all next time i'm hoping to put out some more awakening tutorial videos uh, so let me know if there's anything you want me to do a particular tutorial on um but with that said i, I will see you next time so bye guys